Hey, hey, hey. Sunday night. Time to focus the energy. Check in with your vibe for your intentions under this new moon energy that we just went through. Come on in and join me. Let's focus. Let's set some intentions. Let's really open the heart with all of this energy. Welcome, welcome, welcome over here on Facebook in the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'm going to come over here to Instagram. It is now 7 o'clock. Here we go. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, everybody. Take a few minutes. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here. It's our energy focus. We're going to set the vibe on our intentions under this new moon eclipse. Come on in and join me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. So what would you think? How was that new moon eclipse? What did you notice? Can you feel a shift? Can you feel a shift? Lots of subtle energy changes going on. Lots of things going around. Checking in with your energy is so important right now. It really is. In the sweat lodge today, shout out to Lee McCormick up in Nashville. Really great time to sit, to think, to open up the mind. That's exactly that Sagittarius energy. Expand the consciousness. Think about what you're taking in. Think about what you're being fed. Think about what your voice is. We all have a voice. We were talking about that today. Yeah, and there's a woman, Steph Flick. I'm going to have her on the podcast for the end of the year. We talked about opening her voice. She has this beautiful music out there. So important. And we need to know what our voice is. It really is. And that's all about what this new moon eclipse energy is about, the Sagittarius energy, reminding us it's the journey. It's the journey, not the destination. All right, Sagittarius has that wandering energy. It likes to travel. It likes to go. But it's the journey and how we get there. Another thing we talked about today, something I have been working on all year, like get out of the fear, get out of the struggle, enjoy your life. Have pleasure, enjoy, be in love. Like all of this energy, I've been working all year on this. I really have. So you can rewire the brain. You just got to use your tools, right? Tapping, energy running, really using it, meditation. These are ways in which you can break your habits, change what you're doing, and find that place of truth from your heart to come forward with. All of this energy is what's going on right now in the cosmos. It really is. I will say, give a shout out on the podcast. All right, let's talk about it. I had great astrologer on, Susan Miller. She was one of the first astrologers I met when I lived in New York. Gosh, 25 years ago, something like that, she had Astrology Zone. She has Astrology Zone, one of the first websites for astrology. Very popular in the magazines, Elle, Vogue. She has this thing going on with InStyle with the elements. Hello, I love the elements. Work with them all the time. So she's on the podcast. It's long. I will grant you that. But it gives you an overview of 2022. The forecast, what she says the tone of the year is all about. I won't tell you, so you'll go listen to it. And she even gives you your horoscope. She goes through all the 12 astrological signs. Great podcast. Shout out to our sponsors over at Forecast. Thank you so much for sponsoring us at Hair Salon here in Birmingham. Find them on Instagram at at, 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 at Forecast Salon or ForecastSalon.com. All right. So, yeah, great podcast. Lots of fun talking to her. We chatted and chatted and chatted. And to think, like, so many years ago, when Internet was first getting going and websites were first getting going, great interview. She talks about it, too. Really a lot of fun. Check it out. But the energy we're in now, right now, this week, growing into the light, growing into that full moon, is all about what is the vibe of your intention. What is it you want to set out? How do you want to shift your path? Little by little by little by little creates big. Really does. It makes the shifts and changes. So we have gone from the new moon in Sagittarius. We just moved into Capricorn, which is going to help you ground a little bit more, to do list a little bit more. I know we're all getting into that holiday spirit, right? right? But the best advice that we could take from all of this is to be present. How do you do that? Ground your energy. Ground into Mother Earth. Be centered. Slow down. Enjoy the process. Open your heart. Open your heart to your family, your children, your loved ones, and take those few moments of breath, of expanding your consciousness, of expanding your spirit right now, Careful of what we're being fed, all right? Careful of what we're being fed. We talked about this with Mark Gober on the podcast. A lot of upside down thinking going on. So careful of what you're being fed. Use discernment. Turn off the TV. 
Turn it off and meditate and breathe. Really, that's what we need right now. Turn it off and enjoy your family. Open the heart. That's really the message for this new moon energy of Sagittarius. And as you move through this week, notice where you can that you have taken some time to be present that you have understood better of your own path and know your own truth. What is your voice? Like, what is it you're speaking? What is it you want to speak? We got to get rid of those, you know, and speak again to what we really believe. Be a part of the critical mass. We talked about this with Mark as well. Be a part of the critical mass that makes a difference, that cares, that has compassion, that takes a few moments every day to connect with Mother Earth and appreciate Everything around us, really, 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 really. That's really my advice for right now. That's really the forecast of the cosmos right now. So take it in. And as we go do the meditation tonight, let's take a moment and really get into how do you want to feel? As we move through this portal of energy, as we move into a new year, how do you want to feel? All right, we're going to do a spirit to spirit, drop it to the heart. And in that heart spot, that's where you want to open up that higher vibration. Do you want to feel joyous? Do you want to feel abundant? Do you want to feel more successful, peaceful, secure? Whatever that is. Maybe you can't put a name to it. Sometimes I can't either, but I can feel it. And that's what you want to do. That's what we talk about, elevated emotions. Like you want to feel into it. Not so much like I want this and then number two, I want that. What do you want to feel? And we're going to work on that on the meditation as we move into that. Just using the breath and connecting with your spirit. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So just take a moment. Talking about that new moon eclipse. Talking about that vibration of Sagittarius. Expanding the consciousness. Expanding the way you look at things in your life. And just like even changing up your routine. Go in a different direction. That will help. But being present and slowing down is what we're talking about as well. So let's just take a moment and do that. Wherever you are, if you can, watching now or later, just begin by presencing your spirit. Call it in. Feel that energy coming in for you. Firming my spirit. And now connecting to the greater spirit, source, creator, God, however you choose to look at that. And just drop it to the heart. And just feel that connection right into the heart. Know that you are known. Know that you are loved. Feel that warmth of energy as we create this beautiful space all around you, all around your energy field, strengthening it, calling in the wisdom of the masters and the teachers for your guidance. Call in the angelic realm for your joy. Call in the crystal beings to keep you protected. And we just create this beautiful space for you to work in this week. Feel that magnified energy all around you. As we take the time to honor where we are, we're coming to the very end of the fall. Teachings from the Medicine Wheel show us the direction of the West, where the sun sets, where we see the struggles of our day, we learn our lessons, and we offer that gratitude, calling in to the West, the North, the East, and the South, above you, below you, right into the very center, calling into your heart into that spot deep within you. How do you want to feel? Set those intentional vibes for you. Focus that vibe, that vibration, the elevated emotion, the joy, the peace, whatever it is. Feel it right here. And then just as you exhale, imagine it being sent all around you, magnifying your energy field. Return to this feeling all the time. As the moon grows, all the way up into that full moon we have coming in, all the way, just keep coming back. And allow this to guide you. Take one more deep inhale. And exhale. And just ground your energy, exhaling all the way down, deep into the earth. And just bring that awareness back. It only takes a few minutes to take a moment, you know, Take a breath, come back to that feeling that you want. All too often we get caught in the mind. We get all that troublesome thought. Come back to that heart energy. 
All right, here we go. Cards for this week. I love the first card. This is like Sagittarius energy for sure. Mother of Fire. All right, this is like that energy of like being inspired and an activist and very like dynamic. People want to come stand by you at the party. Very sociable. So that's that Sagittarius energy. Open up. This is the season to do it. Open up, enjoy, stand up for what you believe in. That's what I love about this card. Stand up for what you want to believe in. All right, great card as we work, look at that Sagittarius energy. Now, there's a few cards that come in to help us look at the energy for the week. Three of air. All right, so this is always like a healing card. It's the mind. Air is mind. All right, looks like it's stabbing through the heart, right? Sometimes three's energy can be a little bit troublesome. But this is like healing the mind or what you tell yourself about your heart about your love about your hurt and your pain like maybe you're still churning some old stories all right this is just like clear out the energy of the mind whatever healing needs to come forward cut the cords we got a lot of cord cutting today in the lodge cut the cords release it out let it go all right the next card that comes forward is the nine of fire so this card comes in sometimes to remind us that, all right, it may seem like, okay, here's another obstacle or something else is troublesome, but it also points to the fact that there is still more energy coming in. And this is fire and passion, all right? And fire is that, that why, that passion. So it's like perseverance. Hang in there. Put a little bit more energy from your heart, all right? I like to look at that. I'm not talking emotion. I'm talking that fire, that inspiration forward so that this can help you. Stick with it. Don't give up for sure. Then we have the daughter of earth. All right. I love this card. She's my fun one. She's my creative one. And this is about being curious. Color outside the lights. Have fun. Again, more of that younger Sagittarius energy is this. Like, yeah, like do your rainbow. Who cares if the colors are out of order? Like just have fun and be curious, be creative, think out of the box. All right, so as we work with this energy of Sagittarius for this month, especially up into that full moon energy, stand up, believe in what you believe in, like know what you feel, know what you want to be, be social, get out there, notice people will gravitate to that vibration of energy. Go back to that intentional vibe, that will help as well. Clear up the mind, three of air, clear up the mind. Sometimes that's confusion, that's like, it's like struggle, hurt, healing of the mind related to energy of the heart. Don't give up. It may seem like struggle after struggle. We're at the end of the year. I know it seems like that. We're going to move into better times next year. Check out the podcast. Don't give up. Focus your energy a little bit more on the why and be curious. I love this. Be curious, color, have fun, do crafts, all that energy. That's also good for your emotional energy as well. All right. She is more of the earth energy. So even how you make money and how you bring forward Christmas gifts and holiday presents, be creative. All right. That's some great messages for all of us as we move through this, bringing lots of joy to each and every one of us. If you'd like a card, let me know. Hey, Michelle, how are you? All right. Let me know if you'd like a card. I do have lots coming up. I do want to talk about my master class. I'm very excited for this. And show up for the class live and you could win a Kashuk reading with me because I'm going to be talking about past lifetimes to present lifetimes and why it really matters to access the energy of the Kashuk records how it can help you in the present lifetime all right check it out it is on my instagram profile it's on a tuesday night i think it's the i did not write it down but i'll put the link in there check it out it's going to be a great a great master class come learn and win a chance for an Akashic reading all right let's see over here Mark and I will take a card. All right, Mark and then I. Mark, you got the hanged man. So, Mark, this is about, like, like taking a moment and looking at life from a different perspective. Like, hang upside down. This is, Have a little patience. Also, too, it's like how you're seeing things. Like, don't necessarily see it from the eyes, but the inner eyes. So, this gives you a little bit of a chance to have patience with yourself. Have a different perspective on how you're looking at things. All right? I like when this card shows up. It gives me a moment to breathe and take perspective. All right, Marissa, you got the chariot. I like this because you're setting out on a path tomorrow. So that's what the chariot is about. You got your tools, you got your work, you know what you're doing. Be calm, set your path, and notice the details now. This is another kind of division of what you're doing, another path coming up for you. So just be in alignment with what you're doing. Everything is coming together really well, all right? Definitely check that out. All right, Ernest Yo, how are you? 
Ernest, we got the sun of fire. All right, so this is some of that younger energy of fire. It's like, all right, being like determined, like I know what I want to do and stepping out. So take some of that youthful energy on your path and stand up for what you're believing in right now. Kind of what we were talking about at the top of the hour, right? Let me know how that resonates. All right, Michelle would love a card over here. Michelle, we got the nine of earth. Nine of earth is your work, your business. Like things are adding up, things are building up. More is to come in. All right, so keep looking for what else you can add into what you're doing. I've been noticing you more online. I've been seeing that a lot. Things like that. Things are building up and working well for you in that area. Earth is our work and what we're doing and being grounded in what we're doing. Let me know how that resonates with you. All right. If I missed you, let me know. Definitely will be podcasting still will be out on Saturdays. Yesterday's was really great. Check it out. I will have a few change ups probably with the energy focus just because of the holiday schedules coming up. But definitely will be online 12 12 for sure. That Tuesday, I think, is December 19th, maybe. I don't know. Sorry about that, but it is in there. This Tuesday, if you're local, come join us. We're going to be making sacred bundles with the Reiki Association. It's a lot of fun. I've made some beautiful ones today. I've given them out. Come join us. Do a little Reiki. Get creative. Open up those creative juices. Yeah. So Artie says, haha, that's so appropriate. It was dealing with many younger people in my work nowadays. Need to pump. Oh, I like that. See, there you go. Definitely. Good confirmation. All right, Tra uh, Michelle, that definitely resonates with me. Thank you. Very good. All right. So definitely check it out. My intuitive path. I'm calling in eight powerful women to do this work through the winter season. Also on the Instagram account. Really, you want a group to hold you accountable to doing your spirituality, to upgrade your practice. We work with ancestral energy. You look at your family dynamics, what you've taken on. And then I teach you tools that you can work with to change any of that family curse or whatever you feel like you may have taken on, especially if you have trouble standing up in your family. It's a good time to listen to the ancestral energy to clear up the drama and then be able to then bring your dreams and visions forward. It goes all the way through the winter. If you want to go on an adventure, spiritual retreat down in Costa Rica 2022, let me know. DM me for that information as well. All right, everybody, we have some great times coming up. This is a fun time to enjoy the season. Don't go crazy. Better to be present with those that you love than going out and buying stuff and wrapping stuff and cooking, you know, just like be present. Be present through that hard energy. Return to that vibe of your own intentions as you move through this week. Check out the podcast. Thanks again to my sponsors, Forecast, Ritual Shelter. Love you too. Thanks again for joining me to your spirit. Namaste.